One of the most common gripes people have with The Phantom Menace can historically, I think, be contributed to a handful of characters. Jar Jar Binks, Newt Gunray, our Lord and Savior Watto, and, of course, Anakin Skywalker. Let me just say that I understand disliking the former three. They can be too much at times, and they have caught flack for basically being racial stereotypes. I won't fight you on that. They also were new additions to the Star Wars universe and not essential for the story. They could have easily been replaced by characters who maybe weren't so over the top. However, seeing that George Lucas' Star Wars is literally the rise and fall of Anakin Skywalker, I'd say he belongs in this film, no doubt. This is where his story begins, after all. We get to see the kind and caring young kid who will eventually turn into the most iconic villain of all time in Darth Vader. The actor charged with bringing young Anakin to life was none other than 10-year-old Jake Lloyd. Many people have criticized the performance of Jake Lloyd in The Phantom Menace. You can absolutely dislike an actor's performance, that's fine, but what happened to Jake Lloyd goes far beyond not liking him as a thespian. You see, Jake Lloyd was absolutely battered by critics and fans alike. Newspapers and magazines left and right were tearing him to shreds. Fans were ranting about him up and down the old internet forums. He was very ugly. Let's not forget that at the time of the release of The Phantom Menace, Jake Lloyd was only 10. Depicting the origins of a character as classic as Darth Vader would be a difficult task for anyone, yet alone a 10-year-old kid. The treatment of Jake Lloyd was extremely unfair and is, in my opinion, one of the darkest chapters in the history of the Star Wars fandom. Most people would be miserable under the criticism Lloyd faced. Now just imagine facing all that criticism when you were only 10 years old. And there was no escape for Lloyd. He was in Star Wars. Everyone saw the film. Everyone knew who he was. Lloyd would later say in interviews that he was bullied at school relentlessly and even quit acting just a few years after The Phantom Menace came out. The thing is, I recently watched The Phantom Menace and to be honest, I don't see anything wrong with Jake Lloyd's performance. In fact, I liked it. I thought he played the character better than you can reasonably expect a 10-year-old actor to play a character. Sure, some of his lines are corny, poorly written, but you'd be hard-pressed to find a character in that film that doesn't have the occasional awkward line. George Lucas, brilliant visionary that he is, is no one's trumbo. But I think Lloyd did a fantastic job with what he was given. And at the very least, you can tell he's giving it his all in every scene he's in. Speaking of which, I'd like to highlight my favorite line in the film, which is coincidentally spoken by Anakin. Mom, you say the biggest problem in this universe is nobody helps each other. Lloyd's delivery of this line is phenomenal. There's so much innocent emotion packed into it, and it genuinely caught me off guard how effectively it plays. I don't know about you, but I don't think a bad actor could have pulled off that line. Especially with such sincerity and true goodness like Lloyd did. And this is just one example. Throughout the film, Lloyd faithfully plays the role of a 10-year-old boy. He was never meant to be more than that. He's just a kid in the movie. And I appreciate that. Nothing bothers me more than a child character who's written like an adult, and Lloyd absolutely is not. Sometime in the early 2010s, it seems Lloyd was diagnosed with schizophrenia. It's unknown whether it was brought on by his traumatic childhood, but it is certainly possible. He has been arrested a couple times and was sent to a psychiatric facility for about a year in 2016. Lloyd has fallen down a generally dark path since the unfair criticism he faced. From a happy and enthused young boy, to a damaged adult, it's heartbreaking to see that Lloyd's life mirrors that of the character he once famously portrayed. When he first heard that he got the part of Anakin Skywalker in Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, Lloyd says, I started bawling, I was so happy. As to his feelings of playing such an evil character, Lloyd replied, Darth Vader has always been my favorite character. He's not such a bad guy. After all, he killed the Emperor. Nobody else could do that. That was from around the release of The Phantom Menace. I think it was from a source book or something. Sitting here, reading that, and knowing how things turned out for Jake, it's absolutely gut-wrenching, man. The Star Wars fandom played a significant role in greatly damaging the life of Jake Lloyd. With Ahmad Best and Hayden Christensen recently being welcomed with open arms by Star Wars fans, 
I can't help but feel that it's Jake's turn. He absolutely deserves to be honored, to be thanked for his great contribution to Star Wars. I think it would be amazing and well-deserved if he was someday able to walk onto the stage at Star Wars Celebration to thunderous cheers and applause. Thank you, Jake Lloyd. I'm so sorry how things have turned out for you, but to me, you'll always be Anakin Skywalker, and no one can take that away from you.